What's up guys? Happy Mother's Day from Willie here in Louisiana. Today I'm cooking my own mother an omelet. Uh, it was the first thing my mom ever taught me how to cook was an omelet. And then when I started dating Corey, the first thing I cooked her was an omelet. So I don't know, it's kind of sentimental. Uh, it's gonna be really simple. I'm gonna prep it here on the griddle because uh, I don't want to stink her whole house up and uh, I'll just put it all together for her. So I'm going down to the river to see my mother on Mother's Day and I'm gonna cook her an omelet. So should be easy peasy. A little sausage and bacon action here. So we're gonna circle the wagon and with that grease coming off of that, yeah, we'll cook these guys down too. So right here we just got onions, peppers, mushrooms mixed up and a little sausage and a little bacon, pretty simple. Uh, we'll top it with a little cheese and make a simple omelet. Mom taught me how to cook this when I was about eight or 10, so thanks mom, I'm still cooking. All right, we are down at Kay's Country Kitchen. Uh, this is, when you got as much money as my mom does, you can just build your own separate kitchen right beside your house. Well, I used to be on TV, thank you. Thank you. The problem is this country kitchen is probably half the size of that house, so, uh, but it is <laughs> nice. We are in her space. Mom, happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Do you remember the first thing that you taught me how to cook? Not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, there you go. Uh, it was actually an omelet. Really? Yep. The first thing I learned how to cook. Now, that's not counting um, cinnamon toast uh, that we ate a lot of, um, or fish sticks that we warmed up. Or yeah. Frozen pizzas. Well, that's um, like saying, did you ever have a, a fight with your brother over the oven or cooking or anything? Vienna eating? sausage. Yeah. Yeah. Hot canned hot tamales. Yeah. But actually, the first thing that I cooked was an omelet. So you uh, you taught me that, and so I was going to make you an omelet for Mother's Day. Oh, well, that's wonderful. With extra cheese. Do you want extra cheese, or do you want to cut the cheese? Shut up. <laughs> uh, extra cheese, thank please. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I love you waiting on me. It's really fun. All right. Now, <laughs> when's the last time, Kay, you made an omelet? Well, it's been a long time. Because I've got other people that can make me omelets, too, like your dad or somebody. So when's the last time you actually cooked? Yesterday. <laughs> Thank what, you. What did you cook? I, I made some homemade uh, green beans, you know, that I got from the store that are not canned. They're like the fresh ones. I cook those and, stuff? And, and cornbread and things that go with that. Sometimes we just have a vegetable lunch. Yeah. Isn't that healthy? Hey, are you a three egg omelet or a four egg? Well, the more the merrier. And you want low salt? Yeah. You didn't put salt in it, did you? didn't put salt in it. Yep, low salt. <clears throat> How are your legs doing? Well, your daddy said that my ankles looked like they did when I was a teenager. Oh, really? No swelling. Yeah, but you were pregnant when you were a teenager. So Shut I don't know, up. If, that's, I don't know if that's a good thing. I, <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> I should have never told you any secrets. Uh, well, okay, I could do the math and figure it out. So. <laughs> well, really, I'm not ashamed because that's one of the things that made us who we are today about being honest. Mm -hmm. So tell it all, right? All right, we're gonna do sausage and bacon. Okay, you don't like bacon, do you? I like sausage too. <laughs> I knew you did. And then I got all your veggies. You love veggies. I, I love, love veggies. And I sauteed all this on my Pit Boss uh, griddle. Yeah, when I go to your camp, uh, the, my physical therapist says that same thing every time. I'm so jealous of Willie and the grill. I mean, the grill, it's just amazing. He just oh, my over there. Bosses? Yes. <clears throat> I mean, well, he, just had, he just wants to go exercise me over there so he can look at your stuff. Yeah. Kay, do you remember anything else about my childhood? No, I just keep going back to that biggest, uh, that was, was it you and Jason had the big fight over the oven. It the was, biggest fight y'all ever had that I saw. It was over the oven. Uh-huh, because you wanted to cook 
frozen pizza, and he wanted to eat his usual afternoon snack of 12 pieces of toast. <laughs> and that's what y'all had for a snack. But I always thought whoever had the oven first, that like, so I had the pizza in, so I had the right to use the oven until it was over. He tried to pause my pizza. And put it on broil to so cook his toast. So he could the toast. So and what, Kay, really you're, a, you're somewhat of a judge. Like who would you, where does that fall? Who gets the, who was right and who was wrong? Well, of course you had it, if you had it first, but he said he called for it first. Is what his rebuttal no, is. I, well, he's a liar, so look. <laughs> The pizza was already in the oven. Yeah. So it was already cooking. So there's no way if he claims that that's true. Well, the pizza's I, in the he oven. probably would say he just didn't remember it exactly So right. you're like King Solomon. If the pizza's in the oven, what should you... So who is wrong? I had the pizza in the oven first, and then he wanted the toast. Who should... I mean, I should have been able to keep the pizza, right? Yeah, and you could have cut it in half and gave him half. And then you could eat half his toast. I'm not giving half my pizza. It's already my pizza. I'm not splitting it with him. Well, I mean, it's a good way to not get in a fight, which didn't work, by the way. Well, I mean, I never saw two grown teenage boys fighting in the kitchen over the oven. Well, you, 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 even you saw it that day. Yeah. Where were you at, by the way? You weren't even there. But I came in, and I know one thing. We destroyed your flower bin. And all, yeah, you did that, all kind of dents in it, and then you even moved the icebox. One of y'all had the other one pinned up against the icebox, and you moved it over some. Yep, that's true. So, yeah. I mean, all over the oven. So even to this day, though, you say Jace was actually in the wrong on that. So I can go back and use you as a... That's really the truth. As a witness. Except he, he says in his defense that he called for the oven first and you just hurried up and stuck your pizza in there. No. Now that's, that's not, his story. That's not true, Kay. Okay. All well, right. I guess we can meet in court. Kay, what was the first thing you cooked? Ever? Yep, yeah, ever. Mm -hmm. Well, I opened some cans over at Louisiana Tech and niblets, corn, and green beans. and I, I really did. The first time I fried a chicken, a dad come home and he said, what is that? And I said, you can tell it's fried chicken. He said, Kay. And he saw that big cleaver I had. And he said, what did you do to that chicken? And I said, well, I didn't know how to cut it up. So I just went after it with a cleaver. And what I had was the funniest looking pieces of chicken that were ever. It was like half a wing, half of this, half of that. And I fried did you, it. Was the chicken alive? Like you killed it or you bought no, it? No, I cut bought it, out? it in the store, a whole one. Oh, you just chopped it up. Oh, yeah. But you and didn't know how to chop it up. No. And then the next. I thought your banny taught you how to cook. What is all that just BS? Well, Phil you wanted me to only thought... cook like his mama, uh, which I hadn't learned it yet. And uh, here's the other thing about it I, I wanted to fix him turnip greens. He loved it. So I got a bunch of real turnip greens not at, fake ones yeah real ones like oh, about the right. store or the market the farmer's market so i cooked those and phil started eating them and he said he said did you put sugar in these beans and i i mean in these turnip greens and i said no was i supposed to he said no that okay you had to there's something crunchy and then he turned around and said how many times did you wash them i said once oh he was just eating sand. Dirt, oh, sand and dirt. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Hey, how do you flip your omelet? I don't throw it in the air. When, you don't throw it in the air? Are you kidding? I'm an accident waiting to happen. You ready for that? You yeah. think I can do it? I bet money you could. <laughs> no, I'm nervous. But uh, you, you didn't used to do tricks when you were a teenager, did you? Uh, I used to. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Mm. See, you taught me well. Yeah, because I want him to do that myself. <laughs> I don't have a good aim or a good eye. All right, okay. I know you like cheese. We'll get a little cheese on there. I, I've got an idea for melting it faster. How do you melt it that fast? Oh, like that. Okay. I'll just, Sometimes I'll I flip put it a little... over. That's what you taught me how to. Oh yeah. That's how you. But used to, if I was in a real hurry, hurry. 
I would put a little lid on it for a minute just to kind of help it melt. Well, I, I was actually looking for a lid, but I didn't see one, but I could There's adjust without it. Yeah. So I'll do it on that side, then I'll flip it again. Yeah, so I always thought you cooked like from the, so it took you a while to, Oh yeah, to see out how to get it down. Well, I could cook like Nanny and my mama at the end, you know, she wasn't a very good cook. She used to be, and then she kind of lost it getting older. Well, she could cook some. She could, but it did was your, just a whole different cooking. Did your dad than, cook? My dad never cooked anything, yeah. ever. But I tell you what he had that I bet you never had. Stewed oysters. Ew. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I think I'd, I think I'd rather have the gout than have stewed <laughs> oysters. So. Well, I never did know how he made that. He made stewed oysters? It was like that. I'm sorry, he did, it was good. But that, stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll. <laughs> Between I'll, you and the ice maker. All this cooking, I think it. <laughs> I think those rats are still here. <laughs> What'd you eat for lunch? Beans? Beans. Mm, I knew it. All right, Kay. There you go. Let's see it. Does it look like it did whenever you taught me? It looks beautiful. It's a beautiful omelet, Kay. It's beautiful. You don't even want to eat it. You just want to look at it. See, look yep. how perfect that brown. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you think you're the best son cooking? Um, yes. What do you think? Well, I shouldn't be, you know, putting you first, but well, I can't lie. Cook? I who, can't lie. Who else is down there cooking an omelet? You are All right, what's sensational. Jeff? What's Jeff's specialty? Oh, he cooks lamb, and it's delicious. Lamb chops Jeff grilled. Jeff is a meat cook. I know, and Alan makes pies. Al's a pie man. Jace. Whatever his self wants to eat, that's what he cooks. But I don't think they have the all-around game. No. Like, I don't think they have the... the Jason ma mainly cooks those sandwiches where, you know, he kind of fry the ham and then the cheese melt it and then make it like a grilled cheese. I think that's Jason's real. Yeah, I would say that's at the base level. Um, so, Kay, what would Phil say is the best thing you cook? Well, he really loves my chicken and dumplings. Mm. Homemade. Homemade dumplings. Well, of course. Well, is there anything you cook that he just doesn't really like? Yeah, there is, but I'm trying to think what it is right now. Well, if Remember I... Remember that time you fried those shrimp too long, that Christmas of 96? Will we ever hear the end of that? No. I mean, uh, it's nothing but just a hard lump of flour with a little bit of, of shrimp. I mean, you fried these forever. I mean, they just like came over in the Mayflower. I mean, he just wouldn't shut up, would he? Remember when you made the chicken and dumplings and forgot to put the dumplings in? Yes, and I ran out of juice too, so what else you want to say, big boy? I teach every girl now, if you put your oven on broil, and I'm telling this to your wife too, never leave the kitchen. Do not walk anywhere except well, stay right in the kitchen. We made a new deal. Never come in the kitchen. <laughs> That's our new deal. Just stay out of the kitchen. I'll, I'll take it from here. You still like squirrel brains? I love them. Mm. What does a brain taste like? It's white. It's about this big. White. Yeah. Well, it's about I'm this big. I'm not sure big. if that's what it tastes like, but that describes Well, it's it. just white, and it's just, mm. I know, but usually what I'm saying what a food tastes like, it's not There's the color no, of it. There's nothing else that tastes like it, mm. so that's all I can say. There's no. no other way to describe that. Well, yeah, you've never eaten feces either, but I mean, so that... <laughs> Um, so if one of your, if something happened to one of your dogs, do you think you could eat it, the dog? Never. Never. Unless that was a point of death that I did, that I did. At the point of death, I might eat a dog, but that would be it. I'd probably just die. Remember when Bobo tried to eat your lip off? Yeah, and you know what? Can you even tell it now? No, I can't even tell. Well, it has scars, but you just don't see them. Mm. But you know what? That's what they told me, the surgeon in that emergency room. He said, I know right now you think you'll never film and do anything like that again. He said, but you're wrong. The easiest part to heal of your body is your lips. So if you want somebody to bite you, let them bite you in the lips. Yeah, next time somebody offers to bite me, I'm going <laughs> to offer my lips. All right.
Well, I will get a fork. I want to try it. All right. Before it gets cold. There you go. Happy Mother's Day, Kay. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Mmm, yum, yum. We I haven't am even had it yet. Shut up. I'm getting there. I'm slow. When you get older, you're slower. I'm sure you can figure it out. Mm -hmm. First taste, bell pepper. 